Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Bear Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, we got a good one here. Clown shoes, guys. It's clown shoes. This is the Vampire Slayer. I've been waiting. I was told I wouldn't, they were going to get this at Ben and Cellar. And then they got a couple of more and this one. So, uh, I think this one's been out for a while. But it is a 10% beer, so it's going to keep for a long time. We ain't, we ain't got to worry about having to do this one fresh. It is an um, Imperial American Stout. Yeah, like I said, coming in at 10% ABV, and clown shoes are at Ipswich, Massachusetts. It is an American Double Imperial Stout, limited edition, brewed once, so if you see it and you want to try it, pick it up, because once it's gone, it's gone. The uh, food pranks of this are cheeses are the buttery, the brie, the gouda, Havarti, the Swiss, and the... Uh, it's a it's an imperial style, so it's a dessert type chocolate type beer supposedly does well with your chocolate dishes and desserts. And the meat for this is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glassware is a pint glass, the Becker, the Nonic, the Tumbler, the Snifter, the oversized wine glass, the Chalice, uh, just about anything you want to pour it in. Once we get up to the ten percent beers, especially on the stouts, you guys, you know, I like to use the Dubois glass. It enhances the aromas, and this beer can be cellared. You can keep this for for many years. Uh, ten percent, <clears throat> it'll keep for five years or more, maybe even ten. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I don't think there's any other roasted notes. I I do know they use a smoked malt when they brew this beer, so it should have some smokiness to it. Uh, don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. Is there anything on the bottle we need to discuss? Yeah, let me see. Clown shoes. In a world full of uncertainty and hardships and people trying to hold us back, do we need vampires too? Clown shoes says, no, die, monsters die. Our second anniversary ale incorporates signature dark malts, holy water, and malt smoked locally with hickory ash and, <laughs> and vampire killing steaks. So, pretty neat little thing they got here on there, guys. Got the, uh, got the alcohol by volume on there. And bottle of March 2012 right underneath the code. That's why I like these guys. They got the date on the bottle, the good beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get the cap off of this. I'm drooling on myself. Into the glass we go. This is 10%. Shouldn't produce a big head, so let's go down in the center and see what we get, guys. Very sweet. We might give us about a finger of head here before it's over said and done. Got it around the front. Yeah, look at that. Finger of head. 10% beer. Over to the light. It is pitch black. Dark as night. Dark as the night you're going to see a vampire out there, guys. I don't see any light whatsoever coming around. It is pitch black. Use Motorola black, guys. Nice looking head, though. Very creamy. It's got some big bubbles mixed in and around it too. But everything around the side is really tight, small bubbles. And looking into it, there are some bubbles streaming up to the bottom of the glass. So, fairly carbonated. I was surprised it actually generated that much of a head. So, let's get a nose on this one. Oh, yeah. I'm getting cocoa and chocolate. Some roasted malt. I actually got my nose into the foam there. Wow, that smells wonderful. Let me see how much smokiness we're getting off of this. I am getting some smoke off of this malt. Uh, there's the chocolate, the cocoa, and the coffee. And maybe a little bit of dark fruit in there too. And I am getting the smokiness. Wow, wow, wow. It smells wonderful. Cheers, guys. Clown shoes, guys. Oh yeah, that is delish. 
The alcohol is there though. I've got that little heat going down the back side, so it's not hidden extremely well. Smokiness is definitely there. I am giving a little dark fruit, maybe some raisins or something in there. Oh man, that's, that's a good beer. That is delicious. Clown shoes haven't let me down yet, and this is another one that's not going to let me down. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Look at your lacing on that glass, guys. That's awesome. That is awesome. This beer is awesome. I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be an A beer. Stick around. We're going to let it warm up a little bit and let you have a half sip it. See if it ends up being a can. I don't know. Stick around. Alright guys. I think we're sticking around. i got just a little bit left here. Maybe just a little bit more. Let me sip on it one more time. Cocoa. Coffee. A little dark fruit, maybe some raisins, figs. I'm not, it's not getting the dates or anything. The alcohol is definitely there. It's not hidden superbly well, but it's imperial. I mean, it's 10%. And it tells you that it's 10%. So if you're specking a 7%, this is not it. That one, Chuck. That is a delicious beer. That is delicious. This is bottled on March of 2012. Got it right here on the label. No code. Nothing digitized on the bottle. No, it's not on the bottom. Nothing yellow. Nothing can be smeared off. Nothing you got to decipher or go to a website. You know, that is such a crock of horse hockey that it, it, just, it chaps my ass so bad it you would not believe. And this is a stout. So basically, we don't even need the month. All we need is bottled 2012. 10%. This is going to keep for years and years and years. I and mean, they even give us a month there. So, uh, all the information we need on this beer, guys. And I'm going to harp on this. I harp on it all the time. It just it blows my mind that these guys think they can put IPAs and things like that in bottles and not put any kind of date on it or you put some kind of horse hockey code on it you got to go look up or whatever. So, if you're doing that, you can, well, I'm not going there. Uh, Guys, this beer, this beer is a definite winner. It is an A beer. Uh, it's got the date on the bottle. It's delicious. It's, it's the alcohol is not quite hidden as well as it could be, or maybe even should be. But it's an imperial, and it says on the label that it's an imperial. So expect a little bit of booziness with this one. So, guys, it's got the date on the bottle. So uh, I'm gonna give it a ten. It's I'm partial to clown shoes. Everything I've had from them has been winners. So uh, the guys in Ipswich, Massachusetts, I like your stuff. I mean, I really do. So uh, if you can get this beer, guys, you already give it a try. You know, a lot of people might give this a nine out of ten, but it's got the date on the bottle, and this is a stout. You know, I mean, all I have to do is put the year, not the month. So I don't want this to be a twelve or fifteen, twenty minute video. Uh, if you see this beer and you like a nice imperial, this is not a Russian, this is an American stout, 10%. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty tasty. So, uh, Rate Beer has this at 99 overall, so it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. And 80 in the style, and I'm, I, don't, I don't know what's up with the 80 in the style. Somebody's not liking something about the style. And I probably fit the style very well, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, beer added comes up with a 93. They're up in the 90s on this one, so pretty impressive. So I made sure to give it a 9, but I'm giving it a 10. We got the date on the bottle. They know what the hell they're doing. As far as I'm concerned, it's a winner. If you see it, pick it up. you like a stout. And guys, as always, rate, comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Let's go look in the fridge. See you then.